Greetings. Today we're going to check out Jackery's latest offering in the portable solar panel market. It's the Jackery Solar Saga 100. It's a 100 watt portable solar panel that's lightweight, made with these high quality cells, it has this really cool kickstand system built in. It's got USB ports on this side to charge all your devices. Sounds pretty cool. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what you get in the box. You get the Solar Saga 100 user's guide, which we'll go over here in a moment. You, of course, get the little Jackery-sized warranty card. It tells you about the two-year warranty. And you get the Solar Saga 100 panel, of course. Now in this double zippered pouch, you get this nine foot Anderson cable. And by Anderson, that's what the connector looks like on one side. And on the other side is eight millimeter, which goes into the Jackery. Now this is where you actually plug the Anderson connector into. If you're only gonna use this to charge USB, you don't need to use the cable. And if you wanna charge USB, you got some USB connectors here. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. I'll show you how you actually hook it up. So first this gets plugged into there. You have your Anderson connector here. Then this just simply plugs into your Jackery product. And then you're good to go. You'll start charging as long as the panel's out in the sun. There's also this little LED light that'll tell you if you're getting power or not. So printed right inside this case are the specifications for the panel, which is pretty cool. You can see it's a 100 watt panel, 23% cell efficiency, which is quite high. It's an 18 volt panel. That means 12 volts and it would put out a maximum of 18 volts. It does five and a half amps, 21.6 open volts. You can see the dimensions there. I think this thing weighs less than four pounds. So what we have here in the manual is very simple. There's the specifications and it tells you the USB output is two times five volts or two amps, total 20 watts maximum. This gives you the warranty, which again, like any other Jackery product, it's two years from date of purchase, frequently asked questions. What kind of battery can you use to charge it? How do you clean it? And are they waterproof? Now it does say to maximize the lifespan of the module, it should not get wet. However, let me tell you that I thoroughly tested the 60 watt version in hail and rain for several days and I had no problems with it. I expect as long as you cover the USB ports and don't let the USB ports get wet, that the Solar Saga 100 can be used in light rain. Now, I'm not gonna officially say take it out and get it wet, but I can tell you that I've gotten mine wet and it hasn't been a problem. All right, let's take a closer look at some of the features here. Now, one of the coolest things and one of the biggest selling points for me for this panel, besides it being 100 watts, is this cool kickstand system. It feels like a piece of wood or plastic inside here. Instead of having some hard metal bars or whatever that would consume a lot of space and make a lot of noise, they use these nice little cloth stands. Now, you think that's not going to work very well, but it actually, I had this out in wind and it worked quite well. As long as it's not going to be a strong wind, it's not going to knock it over. If you want to use this in a strong wind, what you want to do instead is hang it up by these holes in the middle. Usually I use magnetic hooks. You can use bungees, whatever you want to use. Hang this up on the side of your vehicle, on the side of your tent. Now, what's kind of neat about having the USB charger in here is that you can put your phone or tablet in this giant pocket, zip it shut, and then your devices will be safe from the heat of the sun, from dust, and from any other weather because this is on the bottom of the solar panel. Let's assume that you zip up this, this thing and you have your phone in it. The solar panel sits like this with this kickstand. And so it's on the back side of the panel where it's not going to, uh, your devices won't get damaged. Now, just like the Solar Saga 60, this uses snaps to stay shut. So you fold it, and then you have a couple snaps, and it stays secure. It also has this nice rubberized handle to make it easy to carry. Now, the Solar Saga 100 has the same sort of weatherproof canvas. It's uh, very durable. It does get dirty a little bit easy, but it's also easy to clean. Like this is laying on the ground, so it's got a little bit, of, little bit of dirt on it, but it can wipe right off with a wet cloth. It's no big deal. Now the Solar Saga 100 is made with the same high efficiency panels that the Solar Saga 60 was. They claim 23% efficiency, which is really good. 
that's one of the reasons why these panels are a little more expensive than the competition is because they do actually use high quality cells. So last time when I did the review for the Solar Saga 60, I had tons of people ask me if this solar panel can be used for other things besides jackery. They would say, oh, I get like 10 of these and I'll have my own solar farm, or I want to plaster these on my RV and get like, you know, 1,000 watts of power. Yes, you can definitely use this solar panel for things besides Jackery products. Now you have to remember, Jackery uses these Anderson connectors. If you want to use this to, to charge something else that maybe has MC4 connectors, go to hobotech.tv slash Amazon, scroll down to the solar section, and I have an adapter down there that will take Anderson, which is this, and make it MC4, which is what you'd have on a normal solar panel, like a Renogy panel or a panel on the roof of your van. We're gonna use MC4 connectors. So yes, you absolutely can hook these together, at least in parallel. Now, I don't know if you can hook these in series. I'm sure you can if you have the right cables. They can definitely be hooked up in parallel. Now, it's just a regular solar panel. It doesn't have a controller or anything in it. So I'm gonna have to guess that you have no problem hooking it up in series. Although well, uh, maybe one day if I can get the adapter cable, I can try to do that with uh, this and the Solar Saga 60 and see at least if it would work in series. Your next question is gonna be, does it charge the Jackery Explorer 440? No, it does not. It does not charge the Jackery Explorer 440. The reasoning is this solar panel, it says right on it, that it's 18 volts. The Jackery Explorer 440 has an input of 25 volts. So no, you cannot use this solar panel on the Jackery Explorer 440. You can, however, use it to charge the Jackery Explorer 240. It'll also charge the Explorer 160, the Honda 290, and this beast, ugh, the Jackery Explorer 500, which I just did a review on. So that's the big selling point for the 100 watt panel is that it actually will charge all existing Jackery Explorer products except for the 440, which I'm certain they're gonna be discontinuing any time now. So let's go ahead and take this sucker out into the sun and see what we can do. Now there's some fires nearby, so the sky's a little bit hazy, but let's see what she can do. All right, we have a few minutes of sun left for the day. What we're gonna do is go ahead and plug the 100 watt solar saga into the Jackery. Now this is uh, the Jackery 500. Uh, it's mostly charged and the sun is going down. So we're not going to get full power today, but I just want to show you how well it works. You can see we're getting about 56 watts. Now remember, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, a little bit overcast. The sun's about 10 minutes from going behind this tree, so it's not the perfect conditions. Also, the Jacker Explorer 500 is almost fully charged, and as it fully charges, it's going to accept less power. So it's a pretty good demonstration for today. So how fast will it charge the Jackery 240? Well, the 100 watt solar panel will do it in about six to eight hours. Now they are conservative on Jackery's website and I do believe they say uh, eight or 10 hours. But in my experience, the 240 will charge off the 100 watt panel in somewhere to six to eight hours depending on sky conditions. Now it'll charge the Explorer 500 in approximately 10 hours. Now they do say 16 hours on the website, but it's usually about 10 to 12 hours if you're talking summertime, good sun. So you do the math, 518 divided by 70, it gives you the amount of hours that it'll take the charge. And just like the 240, um, that has a 252 watt hour battery in it. So you do 252 divided by 42 watts, which is its maximum charge rate. And that gives you six hours. So they're saying you can actually charge it in six hours is the fastest way. But my experience, you know, six to eight hours for the 240 and 10 to 12 hours for the 500. Now, if you're interested in getting the Jackery Solar Saga 100, there is, of course, a really good Hobotech discount. So in the Amazon checkout, in the promo code section, put in Hobotech 100, and that'll get you 15% off the Jackery Solar Saga 100. That's a pretty good deal. You're not gonna find a discount like that anywhere else. Only here on Hobotech. So if you're interested, use that code. If that code doesn't work, check the description below because sometimes they have to change the codes on Amazon. So always have the latest code in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Solar Saga 100 solar panel. It can be used to charge the Jacker Explorer 160, 240, Honda 290, and the new Explorer 500. 
So it's pretty much a jack of all trades when it comes to charging any of the current Jackery products. Now remember, it does not charge the older Jackery Explorer 440. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. So Odin, how much do you care about the Solar Saga 100 solar panel? That's what I thought. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Randall Furnine, Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.